Hey Jack, are you looking for something? No, I'm just fluffing my ferns. I could always come back. I can multitask, what's up? Uh, Kyle Klein called. Who? He's representing the tenant. They want to discuss an extension on the lease. Right, okay. And their commission. Brian, you've been here, what, six months now? Just under three years. How many times have we paid commission? I think all of the times. But how many times have we done it without a fight? Absolutely zero, which is really something we should think about changing. I am not in the business of just paying people for nothing. But you're gonna end up paying. Of course. So why not just- Just what? Just pay. Because I don't pay someone for nothing, and Kyle Klein has done nothing. Aside from being one letter shy of having the worst initials a person can possibly have, he has done nothing, but he will. Respectfully, I really don't understand why we can't just pay him. It's like this past year has been a complete waste of my time. Three years. Brian, send him back a letter asking for a widespread of comps. When he sends it to you, ask him to go wider. Hey, you busy? No, just fluffing my ferns. Is it already the end of the month? What's up? Have you seen Mitch's Facebook? I usually go out of my way to try not to. He got a smartphone. Good, it's about time. Not good, definitely not good. Do I even wanna know? Oh God, oh God, oh God! Jack! I'm okay. Is that his? Yup. Then what's that? Something he should go see a doctor about. Maybe we should just call him. Tell him he posted a picture of his stuff. I'm not sure embarrassing him is the way to go. I think he embarrassed himself. We're just trying to limit the exposure. What if we just call, just act like we're just catching up? See how life out in San Diego's going or ask him about the smoothie shack. And then what, like, hey Mitch, I heard your smoothies are kind of lumpy. Speaking of lumpy. I wouldn't install his smoothies. You know the irony of it all? Had he not lost all the weight, his fat would have engulfed his- We should call him. All right. Hey Jack. Hey Mitch, I'm here with Dave. Hey Mitch. Dave, how's it going guys? Good, good. How's the smoothie shack going? Oh, it's great. And I'm thinking of adding wraps to our menu that we'd have to change the name to Smoothie Shack and Wraps. Interesting, so I heard you got a new phone. Yeah, it's smart now. My old phone was so dumb, it didn't even know how to take a picture. <laughs> so you've been taking a lot of pictures? Oh uh, yeah, it's mostly of my banana and berries. I've seen. Yeah, and now I can show the world exactly what I put in my smoothies. Sometimes a little mystery can go a long way. What Jack means is maybe you should take your time uploading those pics. I usually take a bunch and upload them as I go. It's automatic. If I've got it, the people see it. That's for sure. I love it, and people love it. And I feel now that social media allows me to show people how much of myself I can put in my smoothies. It's your testicles, Mitch. What? Jack. Mitch, you posted a picture of your testicles online. Dave's been looking at it all day. What? You need to take the auto thing off and just really be careful about what you're posting. Mitch? You there? Huh. Those are my nuts. Yes, they are. No, my caramel-covered peanuts. It's a topping for my soft serve. Your How nuts are huge. The Hello? Hey, it's me. Hey, what's up? You have a cousin, right? I have a bunch of cousins. Do you have an Israeli cousin? I have a bunch of Israeli cousins. Well, one of them is currently sitting on our couch. What? Who? Um, he said his name is Yonatan. Yoni? Yoni Ben Melakai is sitting on our couch? Yeah. Why is he here? I was hoping you could tell me. I mean, he just showed up on our door with a knapsack. And you let him in? Well, he said he was your cousin. <coughs> I mean, he kind of looks like you. Really? Well, yeah, he's got dark hair, flowing dark hair, and those eyes. Katie? What? I'm just saying he's got some features. I'm on my way. Just please, just don't look at him. Hello, Mr. Klein. Uh, Mr. Sanders asks that you please provide a list of comps to support your proposed rent decrease. I have a 15 mile radius of comps. I'm sending them to you now. Okay, great. Uh, before sending those over though, would you mind going wider? Wider? Wider, sir. I don't see why you need me to go wider. Uh, regardless, I'm gonna need to insist that you go, that you go wider. Head, but no 
Butter poop. Mitch. Butter poop, Ned. Jack. I'm in your pocket, Mitch. You FaceTimed me. Oh, hey. Sorry about that. You, you were in my butt. Ugh. What's up? Nothing. Just working. Took a look at my Instagram feed. Couldn't help but notice you've been taking a lot of pictures recently. Can you blame me? This phone has a camera in it. A camera. Jack, it's like we're living in the future. Or at least the past decade. Hey, when are you guys coming to San Diego? I miss you guys. Well, between work and Angie and another baby on the way, I'd say I'd be free in about 25 years. Uh, hey, hold that thought. Norton's trying to jump in the water. Oh, well, go stop her. No, no, she's fine. I just want to get a picture of her on my Instagram. Oh, Mitchell. Um, what the hell? Cousin, you are here! Welcome! Please sit, sit. Cousin, please stop touching my wife's feet. This is amazing. Yoni, why don't you just stop touching my wife's feet and come here and give me a hug hello? Oh. Of course! Where are my manners? We shake here in America. <laughs> this guy, he was always the funny one growing up. When he used to visit us in Israel, we would laugh and laugh at him. He means with me, it's broken English. Do you remember that time we were in the desert on those camels? Fun times. You threw up all over the hump. Yeah, I had a stomach bug. What did we call you for that trip? I don't think there was a name. <gasps> Gaggenhub! We used to call him Gaggenhub! Oh, that's not a good name. I don't remember that. Fun times, right? So when are you leaving? Dave! I mean, how long are you staying here? And why are you here exactly? I had to leave home. Too much for too long. I needed to find my independence, so I come and live with you. How's that independent? What Dave means to say is, is we're happy to let you stay here with us as long as you need to settle in America. No, we're not. Dave, can I talk to you in the dining room for a moment? We really should not let him alone in there. Dave, what the hell? What? What has gotten into you? Nothing. <sighs> He's your cousin, he traveled all this way from Israel, and you practically threw him out on the street. I'm not throwing him out on the street. Listen, I'll give him money for a cab and a hotel. David! Okay, look. Yoni and I have never been close. He's been a bully. Yonatan? Yes, and it's not Yonatan, it's Yoni. Yeah, but he's so sweet. And that accent? Katie! Nothing, what? He has picked on me my whole life. Whether it was in Israel or he came here, it's been awful. I'm sure it wasn't as bad as you remember. Gag and hump, Katie? Have you ever been called gag and hump? I have. Listen, it's going to be okay. He's older now, you're older. You're gonna be a father. Please just give it a try. Fine, but he's sleeping on the couch. Okay. And no more foot rubs. Oh, uh-huh. Katie. No, of course not, sure. Yeah. Katie. Yeah, listen, Mr. Klein, I hate to do this to you, but I'm looking at this email you sent, and, uh... I just don't see wider. Listen, pal, tell your boss I don't have time for his games. I get what he's trying to do. Run me around so he feels like I earned my commission. I assure you that he is not. Not happening. I want a written counter today. So, nothing wider then. Hello? Hello? And he was rubbing her feet? Yes! Baller! What? I mean, totally inappropriate. It's like I don't have enough on my mind between the extra work at the office and the baby on the way. I did not need this. He's so cool though. No, he's not. Remember that time your college graduation he hooked up with that girl? My girlfriend? Well, that puts a different spin on the story. Oh my god, this guy is such a mess. Who? Mitch. Instagram? Facebook. Ugh, what now? It's pictures of his dog, I think. Let me see. Well, that's terrible. The dogs aren't even looking at the camera. Is he shirtless? He, he's shirtless. You can't even see Ned's face and Norton seems totally preoccupied. Is that his thigh? Why post this picture? It's a terrible picture. Who wants to see this crap? I don't I don't think he's wearing pants. There's definitely not a shirt. Is, is, he, na is he naked with these dogs? You need to talk to him. Why me? Where's Matt when you need him to bring this guy into our lives and leave? There were like five years in between those events. Did you see the next picture? No, what is it? Honest to God, I think it's a spork. I think it's a spork on the arm of his couch. Good morning. Yeah? No? Did you have a nice breakfast? 
It was okay? Great. Well, I've been here getting my ass chewed out by Kyle Klein. Seriously, I, I, do you need me to handle this? For you can not just make the man go wider? I have tried. I have stretched this man as wide as I could possibly get him to go. Graphic. He won't bend here, Jack, and he knows what you're trying to do. So can we just give him the damn commission? Sometimes I forget that I'm not in the old building. We use the same color scheme. Sometimes I forget. What? What's happening? I have to go tell a friend to stop posting near nude photos on Facebook. Don't you think Facebook could tell him to stop posting these terrible photos? But no, I have to do it. I can't do everything around here, so I'm gonna need you to do this. Why don't I call your friend Mitch and- Facebook, Mitchell M. Little. Instagram, at Smoothie Shack. Twitter, at M. M. Little Shack. Take a look at this, tell me. Do you want to have this conversation, or would you like to handle the commission? Well, I'm fairly certain that whatever pictures I bring up, nope, I will handle the commission. There you go. Hey, you busy? Hey, to what do I owe this to? Oh, no, God. Hey, Jonathan, can you grab me a drink of water? I'm feeling really thirsty. Of course, of course. Katie, what is he doing here? Dave, I need you to keep an open mind here. I don't see that happening. You have to give Jonathan a job. What? Are you joking? You're joking. Dave, listen to me. No, Katie, it's bad enough that he's sleeping on our couch and now you want me to see him here 24 seven? I'm sorry, no. Dave, he needs to make money. And how is that my problem? Uh, well, if he doesn't have a job, then he can't make any money to afford his own place or even a ticket home. Damn it. Thank you. Okay, well, I'll have to figure out what the hell he can do around here. Well, I'm sure he has many talents. Just look at him. Excuse me? What now? Caitlin! For you. I hope I have done my part to, how do I say, make you wet? Hydrated, yes. Thank you. Yoni. David! How would you like a job? <gasps> my hero, this guy! <laughs> oh, David, thank you so much. I will build you many things. You're welcome. You are as generous as your wife is beautiful. <laughs> That's enough. Good afternoon, Smoothie Shack, where our meals are as smooth on the way in as they are on the way out. Please tell me you knew it was me calling. Jack? Hey, what a pleasant surprise. Mitch, we need to talk about your online photographs, and when we finish, we should probably address your telephone greeting as well. Have you seen my most recent pics? I call them swinging in the rain. Oh, Mitch. See, this is what I'm talking about, swinging in the rain. Mitchell, it's not even raining in the picture. It's raining on the inside. I don't even want to know what that means. So I'm having a little fun. And posting some artsy fartsy photos on Facebook. It's not hurting anybody. It's hurting me. It's hurting Dave. He can't sleep. He can't eat. Mitch, I, I know you're proud of your body. You lost so much weight. And it's fantastic. But to show it off in a, in a t shirt and some pants, not this. And listen, you're a grown man. You, you shouldn't be taking pictures on a swing set. That's not me in the picture. Then, then who the hell is it? That's Cameron. He's one of my smooth operators. I beg your pardon. He makes the smoothies here. You know, Jack, I'm starting to get the feeling you're not liking the pictures I'm posting. You're just starting to get that. Mitch, I don't like them. I, I hate them. They make me angry. They make me want to cry. I feel like I lose a tiny bit of my soul every time I look at them. So what? Excuse me? They're my social meteors. Not yours. It's media, Mitch. Social media, not meteor. It's Facebook, not Facebib. And it's Instagram, not Instantgram. If you're gonna post your horrible pictures, the least you could do is get the damn names right. Mitch? Are you done? I'm sorry, I, I shouldn't have snapped at you. No, it's okay, I should go. I've got some raps to, um, rap. Mitch, come on. And then he was all like, I'm gonna go rap my rap or something. I think somebody here is being a little ridiculous. I agree. Thank you. You're being ridiculous. Me? Yes, you. Jack, you hurt his feelings. Oh, please. I have said far worse stuff to Mitch. I have no doubt. But this hurt him. You insulted his art. Art? 
the man posted seven blurry pictures of a sandal on a pillow. The questions that raises, is it his sandal? Is it even his pillow? I can only hope that they belong to the same person. Otherwise, this is madness. But I can tell you one thing it is not, and that's art. This is a problem. Okay, listen. Did you ever stop to think that it's your problem? No. Jack, why do you care so much? I understood when you thought his caramel nuts were his non-caramel nuts. That was horrendous, embarrassing. That I understood. But these pictures, who cares? I care. Dave can't sleep. Who cares? Did you ever stop to think that maybe this is all Mitch has? He doesn't have a wife or kids or anything to come home to. So he takes pictures of his dogs, his co-workers, complete strangers, shares them with the world. Maybe he's just lonely and wants to get a few likes to make himself feel better. Well, when you put it that way, it almost seems like I was wrong. Jack, I love you. But sometimes you need to step outside of yourself and see things from someone else's point of view. You're right. Thank you. You're welcome. So Angie ate a crayon while you were talking? What? I didn't want to interrupt. Jack! You don't like when I interrupt. <sighs> okay, listen. Here's how it's gonna go. When you're here, we're not cousins. We're not family. We're certainly not friends. I'm your boss. And I am your student. No, I said boss, not teacher. So, I am your boss? No, you're my student. I mean employee. Okay, so you are my employee and I am your student. No, I'm your teacher and you're my student. Okay. Wait, what did I just say? Hey, Dave. Oh, oh, wow. Uh, Yonatan. Hello. I, hi, I'm, oh, oh, hi. Ah. We're, I, I'm, I'm. Jack Sanders, we met years ago at, 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 at Dave's graduation party. Man, I'm uh, such a fan. A fan? I am a student now. Oh, that's uh, great. Uh, it's just, it's such a pleasure to meet you again. Uh, Dave has told me so much about you. No, I haven't. And I've seen all your pictures, some of your pictures on Facebook. Uh, I, I almost feel like you and I are cousins. But, uh... Jack, did you need something, or...? Uh, right, um, yeah, we need to talk about Mitch. I think you really hurt his feelings. Me? I haven't even spoken to him. Well, somehow he got it in his head that you really didn't like his pictures. <sighs> what did you do? Can we maybe just, uh, go call him, make this right? <sighs> sure. Yoni? Your Honor! Don't. Just... Just go get me some coffee or something. Right. For you. Yes. This is working out great. So I agreed to the commission. You did no such thing. I did. I did it on your behalf. And I told him that I was the one that wanted him to go wider. That I was trying to impress you and you told me how insane that was and to just pay him the commission. So, okay. Now your friend Mitch. Yeah? I sent him an email on your behalf. Oh, what in the hell? Wanted me to handle it and I did. You said you were the wrong man for the job, and I think you were right. That's not how I worded it. So I sent him an email explaining your concern for him. Were these pictures a cry for help? If he thought that, would his customers think that? I explained that your harsh tone and words came from a place of concern. And he wrote back. What did he say? It was a photograph of his hands in the shape of a heart on his bare chest. So now I'm going to need to take a sick day. Thank you. <laughs> really? I thought you'd be mad. I'm not thrilled that you went behind my back, but maybe I wasn't the best man for the job, and I appreciate you stepping up, both professionally and personally. Um, no problem. You printed the picture. Yes. You blew it up. It's life size. It's, uh, it's full length. Is it? So again, we are both really sorry, Mitch. I didn't do anything wrong. It's okay, guys. I know you were just looking out for me. And I know I may have taken the social media thing a little too far. I really love this phone camera, though. Camera phone. I can take it anywhere, anytime. Yep, 
I can see you guys in your office, and you can see me in my office. Mitch, Why did where you are you? Air quotes? Well, I should be going now. Oh, oh my god. god! No! Oh my god, pull up your pants! Wipe, Mitchell, oh. wipe! <laughs>